my legs are in shambles. These things are scrubbing the floor. I got my personality back. Ross's head is bigger than mine. Good morning, you guys. So I was completely ready to head to the gym this morning. I had my outfit picked out and everything, but my legs are in shambles and I think it's because I didn't work out over Christmas and New Year's at all. So my first workout back, it was a simple one, but oh my gosh, my quads are literally so sore. So I'm just taking today to have a day at home. I'm going to clean up the house, do a nice little deep clean, but I've just been organizing things. I did kind of finish my office, I guess my desk yesterday, I'll show y'all what it's looking like right now. This is her as of now. I'm definitely gonna change a couple things, grab some new things, all of that, but I just wanted to get it completely set up. One thing that I'm very proud of is right here I have this little guy so I don't have to plug everything into the back of my computer, but you can't see it. My hard drive balancing back there because I didn't want any cords to show here in the front. Still got my candle warmer going. I'm obsessed with this thing. Like I said, this is one of my favorite purchases and I literally just got it. Things smell so good. It heats and warms your candle without emitting the flame which i feel like lengthens the lifespan of your candle i'm not really sure i had a lot of questions from people who are actually curious about this and they're like why do this instead of lighting it it just really i don't want to have to deal with like losing lighters and running out of lighters and whatnot this also allows the candle to burn evenly and i know you guys probably experienced the wobbly burning with certain candles so i just love this it's very sleek it's minimal she's cute or whatever i got these two things from home goods yesterday this is a little tripod and it's an led light as well. I love this new stand that I got. This is for either a phone or an iPad. You just set either one here and it acts as a little tripod. My case and the charm is from Caseify and you can also move this however you might want to. I think I'm going to put shelves over here, black shelves, and I'm manifesting it right now. I will hit 100,000 subscribers. I need to clean this mirror. Ew. I will hit 100,000 subscribers so I need a shelf to put my new plaque on when it arrives. Right now I'm at like 93,000. <gasps> Crazy. I'm so excited, but that's what we're working with right now. I swear you guys saw me clean all of Vlogmas, so I'm not going to force you to watch that. I know some of you guys like to see it, but I'm excited because I will be able to film in here, do little hauls and whatnot, and I was just like waiting to be in an office. I chose this room in the house because with the last house, y'all know we had hardwood floor everywhere, and I just couldn't deal with Bronx's tippy taps all the time in my office when I was trying to film and whatnot. I'm loving it so far. She's so simple. It's minimal. There's a bathroom right here. This is where JJ's studio is, is in the room next to me. So he gets to deal with me all up in his space. Libby's beauty school where she does her own nails and I have all my goodies here. JJ's on his game next door. I have all my goodies. We're gonna cut these cuticles. I've got my little nail extensions. I got my light over here. I got my little drill bit. All of my little goodies and my microfiber towel and then I have this towel that I just laid down right here. I literally love to do my own nails. I am not a tutorial type of girl, okay? I will do something and then maybe I'll show you guys what I did, but I cannot walk you through steps. I just apply the nails and cure those babies and then file. One hand is prepped. I cut my cuticles and then I use my little drill. So roughing up the surface, I've already chosen my nail sizes. This is the pack of nails that I have. I'm on my storefront and I'm ready. So I'm going to use my little drill to roughen up the inside of the nails and then I'll show you how that looks when I have them on. Okay, I adhered the nails. This is what they look like. I haven't cut them or anything like that. I'm going to do the same type of almond that I did before, but I always get questions about how I adhere them. I personally like glue. This is the glue that I use. It's the Kiss maximum speed nail glue. I just love this because it doesn't dry with like a white film on it and it dries clear and then otherwise a gel base coat and then the solid nail gel glue. I have been testing my theories and kind of switching on and off and right now I like the glue, the nail glue better, the super glue. I'm not a pro, but I know that this helps the fake nail to adhere to our own natural nails. That's why I roughen her up like that. You don't need much glue. After this, I'm going to cut them a little bit and then file to a little almond shape. Two, done with that. They're super long. Literally have gotten my nails done this long before, honestly, but I'm going for another natural moment this time around. I'm just going to go ahead and seal my cuticle, meaning that I'm just gonna go around my cuticle and make sure that it's clean. And whatnot and then I will get ready to paint. Okay, this is the shape that I've got going. Short almond, so this is the before 
and this is the after. I'm not very good at doing a tutorial, you guys. I literally use cuticle nippers to cut an angle, and then I am going to file at an angle on each side like this, and then eventually this little peak that I have will end up being a nice little curve like that. Okay, my hands are washed, and I dried them with a microfiber towel. And now it's time to paint. So this is the shape that they are, G-A-O-Y. This is what I used last time. I'll probably do two layers of this, and it is the 1301. I have this linked on my storefront. It comes in a pack of like six, I think. So I'm gonna start with my little base coat going with this and cure with my led lamp which i also have linked on my storefront y'all this is therapeutic for me and i'm just sitting here literally scrolling through tiktok this is just one coat versus no coats at all and it's just so natural she's so cute this is the after with two coats i have my whole bright light right here so it might look lighter but this is unpainted completely and then this is with two coats of that 1301 finished product two coats of 1301 a base coat a top coat good to go i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm going to use rubbing alcohol with a cotton round just to get rid of all of the stickiness that's left after the gel i needed to do this i gave my nails a little bit to breathe and now i'm feeling like myself again i got my personality back i literally don't think that i've talked to you guys one time today but i want to show you my new little fit it's from 30 years and it launches on the 9th it might be sold off by the time you guys see this but i'm sure they'll do a restock eventually katie sent this to me and i'm so thankful it was so necessary but for any of my tall girls out there i want you to see the length of these pants they're high-waisted and these things are scrubbing the floor i've never had a pair of sweatpants that fit this easily seamlessly just looks so comfy and they feel amazing there's a little pocket on the back and there's pockets on the side here and adjustable waistband can match with your dune or little pebble tote bag from 30 years so this color is dune and it's also coming in black this isn't sponsored katie sent this to me and i'm so thankful but i wanted to put all my tall ladies on because look at the detail they're literally pretty Precious. I love like the warmth and she just chocolate. Are you kidding me? And this little zip up is also from them pockets on the far sides rather than one pouch right here Which I actually like more. I think it's just so cute um, There's two lengths of these pants that are coming a 20 8 inch I believe there's like a normal length and then a 34 inch which is what I'm wearing I'm wearing a small in the 34 inch inseam and they hit the ground on me You guys know my legs take up 70% of my body love that for me the snap crackle pop of my poor little knees. Alani just dropped their brand new Juicy Peach pre-workout and energy drinks today. Delicioso, okay? Apparently this is like a revamp or just repackaging of sour peach rings. I don't remember the flavor of that, so I can't really tell you if that's like, if it feels the same, but I would say that this doesn't have like that sourness to it. It's definitely sweet, and you guys know I'm like obsessed with sweet flavors. Blue Slush, Red Slush, and Cosmic Stardust. Those are my favorites. This is like same flavor town level as that where it's super sweet this actually feels juicy like you're literally drinking the juice of a peach i don't know how they did it but the pre-workout is also just as good i have had that the past couple of days at the gym and look at the new can jb she really did it with this can you see how it says peel right there i literally thought that was a sticker and i'm over here literally scratching the pre-workout and the container of this the box waiting for a sticker to come off i think it would have been great if it was a real sticker but it isn't i wanted to put you guys on as no i love my alani this is definitely like a new top favorite flavor above a lot of others for me. I am going to continue to do a little bit of work. I went to Trader Joe's today and picked up like five of those vanilla Greek yogurts. And then I also got, oh, the mac and cheese. Good stuff, good stuff. And then like an orange mandarin, mandarin orange chicken. I don't know. I just wanted to get that so I could air fry it. I feel like this is like a good spot to do some videos. Ross's head is bigger than mine, but I love his noggin. But I need to get the rest of my office in order. I'm going to bring a lot of my activewear tops to hang them in the closet that's in here. But otherwise, welcome to my little office. Y'all saw me put my desk together, actually. Actually. Mm, I need to do like a favorites video and then I need to do taking on 2023 like my intentions for this year I think that this is I thought it was falling again my intentions for this year and how I plan to set myself up for success I love you guys. I don't know how long this video is, but I think I am going to end it here so I can start a new one for you guys. I love you. There's all my recycling back there. Love that. Thank you so much for keeping up with me, you guys. I'm very excited for the new year. I have a lot of high hopes. I have a lot of goals and all of that good stuff, but I hope that it's been treating you guys well so far. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. You guys can also subscribe so you never miss a video from me, okay? We're so close to 100K. I'm so excited. I'm literally going to get one shelf that I'm going to hang on that wall right there, and it's going to hold my plaque, okay? I can't wait. Anyway, you guys can keep up with me every single day on Instagram and TikTok at Libby Christensen. And I will talk to you guys later.